Welcome back to Caffeinated Reno. We're going to try to do something new today. Siggy has a lot of stuff to do. He's not really interested in what the subject's going to be about, so I'm doing it by myself today. He set up the camera. He set up the, the lights. We've gone back to the phones because the camera that we got that we thought was going to be better it's the vid he's having to do a lot of editing on the last video that we used with the camera we're sending it back it was horrible it, it it's not what our phones take better videos than that one so that will be going back we don't know what we're going to do next with that but we may stay with the phones until we can find a better option the phones are working really great so that's great well, what we're doing today, I'm going to review a show. I watch a lot of train wreck TV, as my friends and I call it. A lot. I watch 90, all the 90 day fiance sto story shows. I watch Married at First Sight. I watch Love is Blind. I may do a review on that, but it seems like everybody's doing it, so... I didn't find out about this show until I went on Netflix the other night and I saw it. I thought this might be interesting. Maybe not as much of a train wreck as my other shows. So far, it's not as much of a train wreck. It's actually interesting. And there's no thing of you gotta fall in love or anything like that, so hey, I went for it. After the first episode, and I was sat there and thought, this reminds me of my youth. This reminds me of something I need to talk about. This is Siggy's dream come true. But he's still not interested in listening to me about it. So what we have is called The Circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to review two episodes in one video. And I'll review the rest. I've got my handy dandy notebook, which I write my ideals and notes for videos that I'll write. See, some right here having to do with my races from last year. Then I turned it around on this side and I decided I was going to write about this show. Notes are good. <laughs> At least I think so. So what we have is a premises of Netflix has this building and they, it looks like they've taken over the whole building. They have eight contestants, eight apartments. The apartments, it looks like the food is furnished. It looks like there's a gym there. There looks like there's a sauna, like an atrium kind of like looking area on the top of the building. It looks like they have a place where they can have a nice meal and converse for certain people. But we'll get into that in a moment. The premise, the premise of the show is that they're there to win $100,000. They're there to see if they can be social networkers that will be the best. Now, I don't know how old you are, but it reminds me of back in the day, and I'm going to, this is going to show my date, my, my age, my date range. <laughs> I dated in the, the time frame of AOL and IRC, uh, Yahoo, just about when they were starting out to do where you could do videos, but you couldn't talk on the videos. You could see what the people were doing in the background, but you couldn't, couldn't talk to them. You had to type it out. So it kind of reminds me of those days. Yes. I actually, when I was dating Siggy, we would do the, AO, the the Yahoo talk on the messenger and have the video and type out. So that was about 16 years ago. So I pretty much came of age right when AOL came out and you got charged for every minute you were on the phone and every minute you were on AOL. So 
it's kind of fun to watch these people be able to do this, which we couldn't do back when I, I was about 19 when all, all this stuff came out. My parents got our first computer when I was 19 years old for our house, so yeah, that's kind of dating me, <laughs> I know, but premises, you go into this building, you're in an apartment. You don't get to see people. You are in this apartment. As I said, food and everything is furnished. They have computer, computer screens, big TV computer screens in almost every room of the apartment. What you're supposed to be doing is becoming a social influencer and get the other seven people to like you that is in the building. But you don't get to meet them in real life. Not at that point. There's going to be a twist. We'll talk about it once I go through this. You, the screens are voice activated and voice commands. So that's how it starts. You make a profile. And you get to be whoever you want to be. Yes, this gives you the opportunity to either present yourself as who you are or be a catfish. Hey, whatever it takes to win that hundred thousand dollars. And these days we we can find out if someone's catfish real quick. Hey, let me FaceTime you. Let me uh, talk to you on any of the networks. Uh, Snapchat. You, you can just, even Instagram, you can just turn it on and you can see if the person's really who they are. So it's kind of fun that these people come in with the mindset, hmm, I could be talking to a a catfish or I could be talking to a real person. I get to decide if I like their personality. I like that because that's what we did when we were dating and when we were doing IRC and AOL and all the other networks that have come out. So as I said, prize is a hundred thousand dollars and Let's start in on the characters. I know I'm saying characters. These are supposed to be real people, but some are not. So what I have in my notes is we have the people that are on profiles are called Mercedes, Shabam. Probably said his name wrong. They started calling him Shuby, so I'm going to call him Shuby because I really hate when people mess up people's names. So I'm going to call him Shuby because... It's a lot easier. There's Joey, Alana, Rebecca, Samantha, Chris, and Antonio. And Samantha goes by Sammy. Well, here's the fun fun part. We have the first person that you see on the show is Chris. He's 30 from Dallas, Texas. He's a freelance artist, graphic designer, and he is a Christian. And I totally adore him because he's funny. He also comes out real quick and says that he is an LGBT person. And he is very proud of it. And he is very, very confident in himself. He calls it Godfidence. I'm not even going to get into a war about that. That don't, don't, don't come for him on that. I think it's cute. I, I love that he believes that God has given him the confidence to be who he is. So we're just going to let him be who he is. And he is just so fun to watch on the show. Then, well, when they do finally get to start talking in the circle through the, the TV screens, just, it's like messenger. You, you say what you want to say, then you say, you hit say, hit send, and it goes to whoever you're talking to. So the ladies caught on quickly that he was LGBT, and I love that they were that progressive to catch on to it, and they made no qualms about it. It was just acceptance. Then there is Joey. He reminds me of the guys from Jersey Shore. Someone... On the show kept calling him saying that he acted like Joey from Friends, but I didn't watch Friends. Don't don't hate me from it for it. I just never got into it. I 
I don't know why. So he is 25, a bartender. He's from Rochester, New York. He says he is a mama's boy. He's a bodybuilder. And he, meant, he admits that he sent an eggplant picture and asked his mama not to be mad at him for doing it and says he's only done it once. But I, I'm not going to go into that. It, it's whatever it is. We have Alana, who is introduced next. She's a model. She's 25. She's from Brownsville, Texas. Uh, I just couldn't click with her. Uh, she did a few things, and I'll explain what that was a little bit later. But then we got Rebecca, first catfish on the show. Uh... Rebecca's real name is Seaburn, and he is 29 from Boston, Massachusetts, a caseworker for people with dis disabilities. He's using his girlfriend's pictures in the show, and she told him to do whatever he's got to do to win the show. Um, I think it's cool because he is exhibiting, he's taken his personality on there and he's running with it and it's interesting he he does get into this thing where he's i'm up to episode four now in the middle of episode four he likes wearing this onesie sleepy outfit all the time and the host of the show keeps commenting on that and i think it's kind of funny but hey the next one is s-h-u-b-h-a-m shabam and I'm calling him Shuby because everybody else in the show started calling him Shuby. Even the the uh, announcer uh, purse lady uh, calls him Shuby, so that's what he's going to be called. He's 23 from California. He's a virtual reality designer. He is Indian American. That is not Native American. He is Indian American. And he made sure to clarify that. He does not really go for social profiles. He does not like social influencers, but he's on here and he's going to play the game. Um, then we have Samantha who goes by Sammy. She's 24. She's from Miami, Florida. She is bi bisexual. And she is a behavior technician. She's really pretty. Just just say that out. Um, there is also Antonio. He's a professional basketball player. He's 24. He travels a lot. And he has a girlfriend. Then we have our last person so far. And her name is Mercedes. But she's not really Mercedes. She is, her real name is Karen. She's 37. She's from the Bronx. She's in a happy, monogamous relationship. And her girlfriend is really pretty because she showed some pictures of her and her girlfriend together. I loved it. So, we have these people. They come in. They're, they get settled in. And then they're told they need to set their profiles up. And they get to choose one picture. And that's going to be their picture, and then they got to build their profiles. And when they build the profiles, after it's done, then all eight of them have to vote and arrange the people in order, one to eight, of who they like the most just by their profiles and who they don't like the most. Maybe, let's go with the least. And sadly, when it comes out, when they finally do the, they do the reveal at the end of the night, Shabam, Shuby is at the bottom, and Antonio and Sammy are at the top. And while they're doing that, and they're waiting for that to come out, because the social influencers, Antonio and Sammy, they have to decide a big decision at the end of the night. So while they're doing that, they get to know each other. And what they get to do, the influencers get to vote 
someone off of the out of the apartments at the end of the night. But it's not an everyday thing. So what happens is, is they go in, they vote the person off. The person is blocked, like when you block someone on Facebook. You don't get to see them anymore. Well, the interactive system, the circle, decides they're going to play a get-to-know-you game. And the get-to-know-you game is either an agree or disagree, and they get to see how the people in the apartment complex vote. So the first one was, do you pee in the shower? Agree? Well, is it okay to pee in the shower? Do you agree or disagree? That one was actually half half agree, half disagree. One woman agreed, and that was Sammy. And then three guys agreed with her, and then three of the girls and one guy didn't agree on peeing in the shower. Then the next one was money buys ha happiness. Uh, two agreed and six didn't agree. And I don't think money buys you happiness personally for myself. I do think it can make you more comfortable because I've, I've been there where I had money that made things comfortable. I've been there when I've been worried about scraping a dollar or two just to eat. And I was a lot happier when I was more comfortable, when I didn't have to worry about where my next meal was coming from. And I know right now I look like I eat a lot, but we if you're a follower, you know that I, I am dieting and I have PCOS and it's not as easy as it looks. The last uh, get to know you statement was, is it fine to send a naked picture? I was actually in the middle of walking my laps, so I didn't look up and I didn't see how they voted on that one, but we do know that Joey has sent a naked picture, so we know at least he voted for it. <laughs> so, oh, they have a ability to private message people just like you do on Facebook or have a group chat and stuff like that. And they're building alliances and that's just what you would do on a game like this. The only thing is, is that even though you vote someone out of this one, it doesn't mean you're voting it down to one or two remaining people. The premises is allowing people to check back in, but that not the person that's blocked. They bring a new person in. So that's going to go into it. So we've pretty much gone through the first episode where we're now at the point where they send, they send Sammy and Antonio up to these two rooms. There's a divide between them. You can see them in the windows. They're looking at a screen. They still cannot see each other, and they have to vote one person off. It comes down, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not doing a non-spoiler or a spoiler video. Not going to happen. One video, that's it. So, yes, there are spoilers. And you probably heard like a million of them already. So, <laughs> um, they go through, and they're talking about who they want to vote off, and... Antonio does not want to vote any males off because he thinks they'll come, they will think he did it and come voting, gunning for him on the next vote. So, and as you can tell, the top social influencers, Antonio and Sammy, are safe. So while they're talking out who they're going to vote off, the other people are talking to each other and worried. So it comes down to they want to vote off Mercedes or Alana. And being Mercedes was wanted to be voted off because of the fact that Sammy thought she was her biggest competition. And Alana, they just thought Alana was fake. So they vote him off. Then Antonio which he's already showing vibes of being a very manipulative person. 
backstabbing person and he says well she he'll agree to vote Alana off and tell the people that he's they're voting Alana off if she has his back but I wouldn't have his back because she stabbed he stabbed her in the back and I'll be telling you about that in a minute so they he announces on through the voice chat command who's going to be blocked and they block it off then the circle comes up and says Alana gets to visit whoever they want in the episode in the apartment building to say goodbye. Well, she chooses, this is where episode two starts, she chooses and walks in on Sammy and tells Sammy she's very mad at her. And Sammy tells her what was going on, that they didn't believe she was really her. And also she gets to make a video talking to the people. And she didn't throw Sammy under the bus or anything or anybody under the bus or what she thought. She was very nice and polite and went out like a lady. And she did. And I like her for that. But one of the reasons why I think that Sammy chose Alana to be taken, when Alana was, she made a chat for the girls only and she called it the, she called it this Skinny Queen's chat. Well, she's skinny. I would say Sammy is nicely filled out. She's not fat, she's, but she's not skinny. She is a nice, healthy weight. Then they also had Rebecca, a.k.a. Seaburn, in the chat. And they had Mercedes in the chat. What I didn't say about Mercedes was Karen is not skinny. She's pleasantly plump. She's a beautiful woman. Um, but she's not. And Sammy was upset about it because Alana was talking about them being skinny queens and said pretty girls got to stick together. Well, Mercedes' picture is of a skinny, nice, not a skinny, but a nice, be healthy woman. And so Sammy was worried it would hurt someone. Let's say someone is doing a catfish like Karen is and she's a bit overweight. That would hurt her feelings. So that was an, one reason that I think that Sammy might have been inclined to vote Alana off, but I'm not so sure how, if she told her that. But, so we also find out later on in the episode, during episode two, is that there's always going to be eight people. The day afterwards, I don't know what they do, but later that night, they bring in a new person. And we'll discuss that when it comes to it. So we're starting off with episode two. We're talking. Sammy and Alana have talked to each other. That's the next morning. Um, Alana knows that it was between Mercedes and her. But guess who also knows it was between Mercedes and her? Yeah, Antonio messages Mercedes that morning while he's in the gym. And again... Nobody's allowed to be in the gym at the same time together. I guess they're taking turns going to the gym, going to the nice uh, jacuzzi at the top of the building. Uh, they, they're, they're, they've got some tight security where they don't see each other where this goes through. But he's at the gym and he messages Mercedes. And Mercedes is on to him. She's not really trusting him. And he tells her that Sammy, you going to throw her under the bus. As again... Spoilers. And yeah, I'm not doing the Doctor Who thing with uh, River. Spoilers. Spoilers, darling. Yeah, they're spoilers and I'm not hiding it. And yes, I do watch Doctor Who and I am a big nerd. I'm a geek geek. So, and yes, I'm looking down and referring to my notes because I don't want to miss anything. Apparently, Shuby has become smitten. With Rebecca, a.k.a. Seaburn. I feel he 
it, it's one of these things where it feels like it's a flirtatious relationship. And it's sad because Shuby doesn't know that Rebecca is really a dude. And I hope he doesn't get too smitten on her. <laughs> on Rebecca. <laughs> Alana leaves a voice midi video to all of them, which I said, and she was very nice about it and polite. And she said she didn't like people judging her being a model because they don't get to know who the real her is and she always gets judged. So, it wasn't a thing. The more that I watched, I watched the Chris dude and I don't know if you guys have watched, and my husband hasn't watched it with me, but I watch Schitt's Creek, S-C-H-I-T-T-S, -T -T Creek, and there's this one dude on there, and Chris reminds me, he talks and he looks exactly like the guy on that show. You'll you'll have to see, but he, the mannerisms, the, the the thing, and I think that's why I like him so much because I adore the character, adore the character on Shit's Creek so much, and it's just it's just kind of fun to watch him be like that. And it, it, it's a like carbon copy, the photos, the everything. It just I need to look up and see if the 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 actor actually got on this show because it it's. It is just so, so, <laughs> they are so alike. So, there's a new game that they get to play while they're waiting for the new person to come. And the new game is they get to ask a question anonymously to anybody in the, of the seven of them. And the winner gets a gift and gets a surprise and who does the best gets the best. Wow. So the, here's the questions. Well, the first part is they do, well, the anonymous one, anonymous comes up later, but first, the first game, I got a little switched up, but the first game was they are given a picture on the screen and only one of them gets to see it and that person has to describe the person so they had a picture of Tina Turner Meghan Markle Spider-Man aka Chris then they had Chris Hem Hemsworth Fonzie aka Henry Winkler and the prize was to be a party later on so oops I really jumped ahead because the the anonymous question is in episode three, so you don't have to wait for that to find out what those questions are. And yeah, I got them written down in the book, and I'm looking at them. That's why I know I jumped ahead. But I love that game, so that's going to be one to go f have fun with. So the prize that they won was a party later on, and one new picture added to their profile. Some reason, Shuby knew the answers. Especially the Chris Hemsworth, the the person that got did that one. His only, his only, only hint of Chris Hemsworth was has the prettiest blue eyes. I'm not sure how she got that word, but he got it. I guess it's from Thor, cause yeah, Thor he does have a <laughs> pretty eyes. So. While they're they're getting all their stuff for their club stuff for their little party, again, they party in their house. <laughs> and they get a little box and they send them their favorite drinks and they have little party hats and little the little blowers and everything else like that. And they get to dance the walk around their house and party and talk to each other. And they have a little party, a little chat, and they set up the building, the apartments where they had a little the little lights going on and off and different colors and put it piped in music to the apartment. So that was really cute. While they were doing all that, the new girl comes in and it is new girl. Her name is Miranda and she is 26 from South Lake Tahoe, California. I hope I wrote that right. Uh, she is bisexual and she goes by Randy. 
they didn't give a description of what she does for a living, so I have no idea what that. While this is all going on, Joey is flirting with Sammy after seeing her second photo. And, again, Joey flirts with everyone. Because before Alana got kicked off, he was flirting with Alana. Now, the second picture that Sammy shared was a picture of her in a bikini. And looking real beautiful on a couch. Or a little ottoman seat. I guess it's an ottoman seat. And he automatically sent her a message. So, while we have that, Joey flirts with Sammy. And Antonio decides to flirt with Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca hashtag Seaburn. Yeah. And we find out that Antonio is really from Delaware. Yeah, but he says he lives in Barcelona right now, so I guess that's where he plays basketball. I don't know. So while they're doing this party, Miranda gets to watch the live chat from the party and gets to browse and do everything where nobody knows she's there yet. At the end of the par party, at the end of the party, she gets to decide, and it's announced that there's a new person in the building, and she's going to get to decide who she's going to chat with. And so, at that time, everybody's a, a little weirded out that someone's there that they weren't expecting that was getting to watch their their little chats, but... They wonder who's going to be the person that gets to chat with the new girl. And at that time, they're told that every, except for the person that's going to get to chat with her, everybody else is going offline. So everybody went to bed, except for the one person she decided to send a chat message to. But that's where that episode ends. They left it. With everybody wondering and turning around and seeing the, their screen go into that little circle of death that we all get when we're waiting for our internet to go through. Is it going to go through? Is there, Are we going to get to see our Netflix show? Oh my gosh, is it going to ever go through? And then you finally get to go through. Or it just stays there and you're, you got to go get a book and read or do something else. <laughs> so it's left there. We won't know who she chose. Well, I know who she chose. But you won't know until my next video. But it looks like it's a little, it's going to be a good show. And I love the premise. It does deeply remind me of my dating days. Where you didn't know you weren't able to do a video and seeing if you were going to get catfished. And you pretty much got to decide when you met up with him whether or not you were being catfished or not. Gotta say, Siggy is definitely not a catfish. He was a pitcher and the videos proved it. I did have some catfishes along the way. <laughs> so, back when I was a lot skinnier and a lot cuter, well, I'm still probably a little bit cute. I think I'm cute. But I'm still working on my body and getting better every day. So it's a little bit of throwback and it reminds me of that. I wonder if I would be able to stay on top and stay in the apartment. I do have a I do have my picks that I like that may win. I'm thinking that either Chris, Sammy, or Shuby might win. I'm really going for the underdog, but from episode four, it looks like Shuby is starting to learn how to play the game. But I, those, those are my three. Who knows? In a couple videos, I may have to say Shuby went home or Sammy went home or Chris went home. But so far where I'm at right now, I have hopes for them. 
And remember, I'm on episode four. I have about 18 minutes left to finish episode four, but I wanted to start this. And when Tiggy got home, I started. But so far, that's what I have. I enjoy watching this. I hope you enjoy watching me. Remember, please like, subscribe, comment, share. I've enjoyed talking about my show, and I hope you've enjoyed it. No pictures because of the fact that I don't want to get in trouble with any other companies on that, but have a blessed day, and tune in and watch the show.